So, Newcastle is here. He's the season 13 legend. Is he good or is he not? Well, I want to share my first impressions of Newcastle and then showcase a game where it kind of further cements my own opinions. Now, let's just kind of talk about what is the difference between a good legend and and an overpowered legend. We haven't really had an overpowered legend since perhaps Sia at launch, and then he got nerfed massively. The one time before that was Horizon, who took a while to get nerfed, to be honest. I guess you could say Valkyrie was overpowered, but I think that she was nearer to the line of being good than overpowered. So let's talk about Newcastle. I definitely have to say that he's not underpowered. He is not a mad Maggie. He is definitely good. I really do think that he is a decent legend. The thing is, you have a couple of abilities that essentially take the roles of Gibraltar and Lifeline, but they require more skill to use effectively. Newcastle's tactical may not be as useful and easy to use as Gibraltar's dome, but it's still very good and with some skill you can do some crazy things with it. The whole Gibraltar dome bubble shield fight thing is kind of like it reminds me of that when I use Newcastle's tactical It's a really good ability and with some smart plays and movement You can really outplay your opponents and in this game You'll see that a little bit later on in the footage Newcastle's ultimate is what makes him really unique in my opinion And it's probably why I would say that he's going to be a very high tier legend as long as they don't change him up too much the ability for a defensive style support legend to have movement and repositioning is absolutely amazing. Newcastle's passive is also like a uh, more active lifeline res in my opinion. It feels like a really strong res that works really well and once again we find some good moments in this game where I use it in combat. Overall I would say Newcastle is closer to being a very good legend. I don't think he'll take Gibby's place but I do think there is a very high chance for him to be played quite consistently in high level play as long as he doesn't get enough. So let's jump into the gameplay and you can see me play him and use his abilities so you can get a better idea of why I think this way. Let's get into it. Newcastle. Really good. Yeah, we should back, we should back. It's just no point. Yeah, yeah, I, I hold the house, I hold the house. Cool, cool. You can play, I, I hold the house. Again, not going there now. Nice. I'm healing. There's at least one team in there still, guys. On me, on me. Come on. I'm healing. Last one. Nobody knows. Oh, fire on the enemy. 
Nice job, guys. We just eliminated the whole squad. Exciting. Still more inside. Careful. On the roof. Get inside the bottom floor. Bottom floor. Nice. That ring has started moving, and we're not in it. Mind if my Presence very low. really low here. It's okay, play for yourself, no worries. No worries. have it i would say one more thing that's quite important is it's just the start of the season it's going to take some time to see where newcastle really fits into the meta there's a lot of unique tech to learn with newcastle his abilities are really quite special i think that there's going to be some really good newcastle players and then there's going to be people who try him a little bit and decide that he's not that good i think that he has a lot of potential for a really good support style legend that could rival Gibby whilst not necessarily taking Gibby's top spot. Definitely a good rival legend though. Really exciting to see finally a legend that could somewhat compete with Gibby high level. Can't wait to see how it goes. Let me know your thoughts and I'll see you in the comments. Cheerio!